on youtube is your boy ogt man and today we got ice spice calls Nicki minaj ungrateful and delusional in a text message rant now don't know what this is about don't know why they even beefing don't know if they gonna be beefing but um without that being said hope y'all like come subscribe new to the channel make sure you subscribe we just hit 2k yesterday turn up for your boy 5k on the way enough said i would throw like a look i might throw something for myself might do that might not hey without that being said let's get started overnight ice spice rose to prominence as one of the biggest rappers it started when her song munch went viral on the internet Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. But soon after, thanks to hits like Karma with Taylor Swift and Boys a Liar Part, two with Pink Pantheris, she shot to stardom. But Nicki Minaj was one of her first significant supporters in the music industry. Just a few months after Spice's debut, the two collaborated on two songs, Barbie World from the Barbie movie soundtrack and a remix of Spice's song Princess Diana. Recently, there has been a new debate centered around the latter song. It looks like one of Ice Spice's pals disclosed some details on the issues that the song was having behind the scenes. She shares a number of texts sent between the rapper and herself, referring to herself as his former best friend. Spice explains in the purported text how Nicki tried to reach an agreement that would have given her a significant portion of Spice's publication rights for the song. In one especially scathing communication, Spice refers to Nicki as ungrateful and delusional and says that their friendship was destroyed by the whole publication scandal. Ice Spice has been under fire lately for allegedly employing a single cover created by artificial intelligence, but it appears that she has more serious accusations to respond to. Furthermore, on Saturday, April 27th, an artist going by the name of Baby Storm, who claimed to be her old best friend, accused her on Twitter of a host of concerning actions remarks and viewpoints the prime I'm trying to figure out where this Nikki beat I get I guess it's because Nicki Minaj was trying to take most of her um the claim off the song she was on but at the end of the day that Nikki that ain't no shit ain't no shit to, to put yourself under you make too much money to Hell about that one right there. But this one has never game about Palestine. She thought y'all were, were posting a giant shooting from there. I told her about. Hold on. She said, oh, well, bad things happen every day. Damn. Well, y'all can read that for yourself, but, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Allegations, which remain unsubstantiated purely conjectural and completely unaddressed by the Bronx MC are that she engages in discriminatory and coloristic behavior in her personal life, that she attempted to ruin Storm's music career by substituting her for another best friend whom she despises in private, that she cheated on her boyfriend and producer Riot USA by sleeping with Lil TJ, and that she ridiculed and disparaged Dochi Eye's remarks regarding colorism. Naturally, all of this may sound like a lot, but we want to be clear that Ice Spice has not yet responded to any of these accusations. They are merely claims. Baby Storm offered purported text screenshots between them that purportedly depict a lot of this conduct in an effort to support many of her claims. Messages from Storm to Riot, alleging that the Fisher creative had cheated on him, were also seen in these screenshots. As a result, a lot of people are discussing these accusations' validity online and whether or not they are sufficient to completely discredit her. Though Moni Slaughter is not overly impressed, Ice Spice may be one of the most successful young femsies out there at the moment. Any in here loves Ice Spice. Ew, let me be quiet. The celebrity recently discussed which other women in the business she's enjoying right now and who she would be willing to sleep with on Shirley Jew's podcast, Shirley's Temple. What girl do you like right now that's out? Because I know you like girls. Like what girl would I fuck? Yeah. The Delhi artist and... Really? What girl would I fuck? So net. But I don't even know what the hell this is about, but let's keep going. I'm just trying to get down to the bottom of this nigga and this thing. Indian would not make the cut, but Tyla has a shot. First of all, I want her to put her tongue back in her mouth. She said of Ice Spice. Must your tongue hang to your chin in every photo. When asked what she has against the Bronx-born performer, Slaughter said that her onstage antics and music just aren't her style. Can we please get some beats that are not Mario Brothers? Can we move past keeping it a stack and gra 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 gra, or whatever the...
is going on. I can't deal. She continued by emphasizing the value of true artist development, as her father had taught her, and urging artists to add some spontaneity to their performances. In response to the question of whom she is a fan of, she mentioned Tyla. Can somebody get up there and do something other than bend over? The South African singer whose song Water went viral this year. First of all she's from South Africa, she explained. Second of all she's drop dead gorgeous. Third she can actually sing. Slaughter also complimented Tyla on her sense of humor, which she put on display on the Jason Lee show, and her snatched figure. But Slaughter isn't the only artist who doesn't impress him. She offered her sassy critique of Cesar in another segment of the interview. What's this gotta do with this? This is the GOAT. I remember back when she used to, well, I gotta go back and see. How she used to look before the surgery, but but other than that, she was still gifted nonetheless. What scissor gotta do with this? I'm trying to figure out what Nikki and goddamn Ice Spice got going on. Playing the snooze singer a lazy vocalist. In a recent episode of her own podcast, Candace Owens took aim at Ice Spice. In doing so, she criticized the rapper's newest single. Thank you, the Ice Spice dropped off the viral track last week, featuring the now infamous bar. Thank you, the shit, bitch. You're not even the fuck. And if you're wondering whether or not it's a good song, what do you think? It's called Thank You the Sh Fart. Owen said before playing a clip from the song. Now I think we can all admit that we've fallen as a society. I wouldn't say that was Mozart or Beethoven, but I'm not all of these mainstream media publications that routinely run to defend this kind of music similar to what they did with WAP, the most disgusting and filthiest lyrics I've ever read. They will then sit down and write an article trying to convince you that what you just heard was magical and they did this with this Ice Spice song. I just want to live in a society Society where we can all acknowledge that a song that's entitled Thank You the Sh Fart is in fact itself a sh fart. With her new song Thank You the Shit Fart, Ice Spice seems to be taking another stab at Lado. One of the most well known new musicians at the moment is Ice Spice. Despite her sudden rise to fame due to the song Munch, she has managed to stay current. All in all, she exudes personality, and her music appeals to a wide audience. She has also had some extremely successful duets with musicians like Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift. She has, however, in the past had conflicts with a few well known musicians. She appears to have a running argument with Lado about this. This beef's origins are a little mysterious. Nevertheless, they have insulted one another and have not stopped showing how much they despise one another. Ice Spice made an appeal. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what this video about. I think it's about all the hate towards Ice Spice. I ain't got nothing against Shawty. I don't. But when she start stepping at other people thinking she better than them, that's when it's like, Cause I don't even, I don't even listen to Ice Spice. I just look at her shake her ass, cause that's what she mostly be doing in videos, anyways. Well, yeah. In terms of Lotto, she can't beat Lotto, and that's on bro. If y'all looked at the little battle they had between Lotto, ate her ass up, respectively. And Lotto, you can get your ass ate up, respectfully. No, I'm stop. I'm stop. Lotto is fine as fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. On Friday and released a brand new song titled Thank You the Shit. Thank you the shit, bitch. You're not even the fuck. After being teased for a while, this song is now officially released. I got my foot on their necks, I can't let up. Spice raps on the song. She all on the floor, so I get up. Get up. Immediately, fans saw this as a reference to Lado's track Put It on the Floor. You can imagine how fans felt on social media when Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj started beefing at the same time. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section. I think this. This video did not answer my question. It just gave me insight on this beef. Like I said, no disrespect to Ice Spice. She 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 looked good, you know. I just don't listen to her music. But she not to me, to me, my opinion, she's not better than Lotto, Nikki, or fucking Megan. And we can debate about that in my comment section below. But out that being said, it's your boy OG T Man signing out.